Hey guys, that last video we made on that 224 blew up pretty good and we got about almost 1500 views on it already, which is amazing. That one's so good I think we're going to uh, do something else this time and mess with that 40 series on the 770 tote goat. It was sticking when we rode out on the hills the other day and take it apart and clean it and lube it up. So here we go. So here I got my 40 series Amazon torque converter. I cut a little window here. Cause sometimes that clutch will stick and you're out and you can't do nothing about it. Just take something and tap on it through that window. But today I'm gonna take it apart, clean it, and cover it with some dry graphite lube. So I'm gonna start off by taking the cover off. Got two on the bottom, one on the top. And just like that, there's the cover. Now, 40 series is symmetrical, which means the belt has an angle on both sides so you can mount the driven or the driven in either direction it doesn't matter um, with the driven side of the clutch you have to have the appropriate spring whether you have it mounted outboard like I do where you take this hub and you face it the other way and you got to have the correct spring inside that driven side of the clutch so, get this belt off of here. Give it a quick little look. It's been on there for about 15 hours, as far as my uh, tachometer up top says. So, give it a quick look. She looks pretty good might be time to get a new one just to have on standby all I'm after is the driver so we'll get this off one bolt here and this just slide right off now I'll move over to my workbench Okay, so on these Amazon torque converters here, you got this little washer behind your giant nut, and one side of it is bent up like that. So the first thing we're gonna do is bend that down right there. Once you get that down, take this nut off right here. I found that a 1 and 13 16 fits it. We'll put it on the impact gun. It's the only way I've found to be able to get it to work. that nut off. And be careful it's spring loaded. Did you see that? The washer. That all off there. There's that. The spring. Front face plate. So inside there you have your springs and your weights um, as that motor spins and this spins along with it these weights 
climb a ramp and that's what causes these two pieces here to move towards each other squeezing that belt so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these out like so and we'll give this a good cleaning so I got some brake parts cleaner here I'm just gonna clean the inside of this out get all that old graphite lube out of there. Kind of feeling for anything that might catch that rag while you're wiping it out as well. Get a file in there and file it off. And just wipe her down. Don't feel too much stuff that would be grabbing anything in there. So that's good. There's that piece. Now I'll grab the spring and I'll just pull it off as well. Set it off to the side. When you got a spacer here, it gets some buildup on it. We'll get it washed off too. shaft it looks good it's got some wear marks on it but no rough spots then inside here there's another one of these I'll try to get that out of there there it is And we'll clean the inside of this one. So after we get that all cleared out, you can see where those weights slide inside there. So we'll get those weights and springs put back together and start putting this back together. All right, so it's like a, like that. Spring weight, spring weight. And they like to fall apart, so just be patient. You'll get it. And they just slide. Right back onto here. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this with some dry graphite spray. We'll set it right there. I want to get it everywhere. We'll just give it a good coat. And we'll let it dry. Once that's all nice and dry, we'll take that first little spacer and we'll slide it back in. It goes in on this side. Just pop it in there. Let it go in. Like so. We'll take the other one. It slides on over here. Your spring goes on right there. This piece goes on there. 
You take your weights after you get them back into a triangle. Just pop in like that. Notice the weights are in the, the ramps here. You got springs on each side. Put it back on there. Set your cover on top. You got these flat spots here. One there, one there. You have the same flats on here. So those will have to line up for it to go together. Put that back together. Set that on there. Push it down. And you figure out what you do. The washer. It's got the same flats as well. Set it on there. Your nut. Start it. So you're pretty well done. Just shoot that down with your with that gun. Like so. Just all back together. We'll bend that flap up there and you ready to go back on the bike. that all bent up now we'll go put it on the bike so yeah like I said before 40 series don't matter if you install the driver this direction or this direction it doesn't care as long as you get your belt lined up correctly and you have the correct spring in here it doesn't matter line goes this way because that's where I get the correct belt alignment so we got this all cleaned up put back together slide it back on the motor put this bolt back in Shoot her in with the old deck deck. Like that. The belt on a 40 series. Got the taper on both sides so it don't matter if I put it on this way. Or this way. It doesn't care. Put it on here. And just work her back on one. like that now if this was a 30 series everything has to be one way you'll have a flat on the back taper on the front because it's uh, asymmetrical but this one it doesn't care depending on which direction this is you got to have the correct spring and you're good to go so there's that all put back together all lubed up get the cover back on Now as you can see here, my driven clutch here pokes through my cover. Let me show you why it does that. I don't know if you can see back there very well or not, but I have I can't tell if you can see it. See, I got a wider gear back there to uh, change that ratio on my first chain to an eight to one. Which will get a little more top speed out of her. 
and it just pushed that driven clutch out enough to where it needed uh, self clearance. So it did, and it works just fine. Well, there you have it. I hope that helps you service your driver clutch on a 40 series torque converter.